Today I thought I would do my very first transitioning into my natural hair and by natural I mean what is growing out of my head. And right now white and gray hair is what's growing out of my head. No, it is not what I was born with. I was actually born with jet black hair and blue eyes, which soon changed. I grew up with mousy brown hair and I started highlighting right at about the point of 18 years old. I probably saw my first gray hair at 26 years old and I have been coloring my hair ever since. I usually do a full color, my base, and then some highlighting maybe once or twice a year because I have extremely dry hair that bleach is not friendly to. Another thing I wanted to mention is that my hair grows extremely fast. So for me at this point in the game, because a lot of people misunderstand why a woman allows this to happen. She's letting herself go. She doesn't care, which really means the same thing. Uh, no one's going to find her attractive. No man is ever going to want her. She's not going to be sexy. She doesn't care about looking young anymore. I am 62 soon to be 63. November 10th, I will be 63 years old. And for me, I can color my hair today and by the end of the week, my gray hair roots are showing again. I have an extremely sensitive scalp to hair dye. I have to really prepare for when I'm going to get my hair colored or when I'm coloring it myself. And yes, I am a professional cosmetologist. I am licensed and I can do it myself, but I must admit the shoulders cannot take it anymore because I have long hair. This is a lot and I can't see the back and I'm not covering it all. And then I have these spots and I'm starting to look like a calico cat. Okay. So I thought I would just come and really talk about how I'm feeling at this point. I have not colored my hair since December 21st or the 22nd or 23rd. I can't really remember. I know it was just before Christmas and before we went over to my brother's in Boca. That is the last time I covered the front of my hair. I have been cover coloring pretty much this half of it because it's all I could reach. The back has not been colored since last June of 2021. I will be going back to Buffalo for a few weeks in June and I do have an appointment with Kelly. I plan on getting about two or three inches cut off because my hair is very, very long. It is touching my tailbone just about where, you know, the little butt crack starts. That's how long my hair is. Uh, I do keep my hair very healthy. It does not look like it hasn't been cut for a year, but it has not. So there is just a little bit about my white hairs. So what have I been experiencing? Okay, right now I'm at the four month mark. It's not easy, my friends. It's not easy. This is the first time I have worn it down, probably since I told you all I am going to try and let my white hairs grow out. I do have more gray. Most of the front of my hair is white. I do have a slight streak of dark gray right here. I wish it was white. It's not. The back of my hair is not. It is salt and pepper. So the six month mark is for me is going to determine whether I allow it to continue to grow out or whether I go back to dyeing it. That was my promise to myself, six months. If the hair is more salt and pepper, I will be coloring it. If it is more white, I will decide at that point whether I feel comfortable in my own skin with that white hair. So how am I feeling about it? The other night was the first night that we had a function to attend. I did not feel attractive, my friends. I could not wear my hair down. And I, when I get dressed up or we go out, I do like to wear my hair down or at least in half a half updo. I'll pull the front up or I'll pin the, it back. I had to wear it back. I did take all of the hair and I just put it in a clip in a low ponytail, but I had to spray it that night. I just did not feel comfortable at this stage going out. And it's interesting because when I was out, there was probably about 200 people at this golf function 
And I did look around. There were a few women that were just had naturally white salt and pepper gray hair, but I noticed that the majority of the women, no one had roots, <laughs> no one. So they either sprayed them like I did, or they're going, they're a slave to the dye. And that is true. I am a slave to the dye at this point in my life because it's not, I can't go four or five weeks. I am a slave to the dye. It has to be no longer than two and a half weeks or, or I am constantly spraying it. And to be honest with you, I don't like the sprays. I think they make your head feel horrible, but they do serve their purpose. And the one that I used the other night, I believe is called Hue. And it was the dark blonde and it was like a per perfect match to this part of my hair. Absolutely. All right, so another thing I'm doing, I am using a purple shampoo. However, I don't really care for purple shampoos. Now I've tried a few and I'm going to continue to try more. And I do take suggestions from people that went through this. And the, because the purple shampoos, uh, I find the Olaplex, it's very good at what it's supposed to do, but I find it very drying to my already drying hair. So I did use the Olaplex this morning. It just helps to take that warmth away and add a little bit more coolness to my blonde. The ends are actually, they pick up more, but right here, because I'd say from here up, there are no highlights. There's no bleach in the hair. It's just color because I have been doing it myself and I have not had highlights since last June. So okay. I do feel a little disheveled right now. I don't feel at my best, but now when I wear it up, I feel differently about it. I just sweep it all up and I'll put a messy bun or I'll just wear my funny little flipped hairdo that I wear sometimes on camera. And I feel very, very comfortable that way because most of the white is showing then. When I wear it like this, for many, it looks like, oh, she needs to have her roots done. A lot of people don't even go to thinking, well, maybe she's letting her natural hair grow out. Who, who knows? But, and to some women, it doesn't matter. And to most men, it does not matter at all. And I will tell you, for the women who have said to me, no man is going to want you or find you sexy. First of all, I've made it very clear that I'm not interested in other men finding me sexy. The only man that matters to me in my life, what he thinks about me is Lou. I want Lou to be attracted to me. I want him to think I'm pretty. I want him to think I'm sexy, all of those things. But let's face it, ladies, when we get up there, that's really not a priority. When we're young, those things may be priorities to a lot of women. But for me, Lou is the only person that matters. So but with that being said, I will say that most of my compliments are coming from men they will actually say, your hair looks beautiful, even when it's pulled back and it's up in a bun. And I have been getting a lot of compliments from women and younger women. I think younger women, women are more accepting of this process over a woman who is probably in her, about 45 and over. I really do. And I think it's because for the youth, for the younger ones, the trend of dyeing your hair like this is big. So I think they think it's really awesome. However, if you go on Instagram and TikTok, there are a lot of young girls who are allowing their natural hair, pure white, one girl is, she used to dye it jet black and her hair is pure white, not, a, not one piece of gray in it. And I would say she's probably in her late 20s. And she has just decided to go with it. And she looks gorgeous. And that's another thing. A lot of these women that I follow on TikTok, they'll have before and after. I honestly swear to God, I feel most of them look more attractive with their white hair or their salt and pepper hair. Some don't, but I also think it's a feeling. It's how you take care of yourself. If I just rolled out of bed, put my hair on a clip, didn't take any interest in myself, just threw on some pajama bottoms and a tank top and went on out to the store. I think any woman, no matter what color her hair is, looks kind of frumpy. I think when you take an interest in yourself, you know, just putting a little lipstick and mascara on and combing your hair, I think we all look better. So I'm not really caught up in the 
do I look good to other men or am I sexy to other men? So now, uh, what am I doing to help the process? I wear my hair up a lot. I really did want to come and just show you what it looks like when I'm wearing my hair down. And the next video I'm doing, which I have a guest, Ben Fuchs is going to be a guest on, um, you've either seen the video or you're going to see it, but my hair will be up for that because I just feel much better with my hair up at this stage of the game. I do, I do love the thought of never coloring it again, but I cannot promise you, I'm not saying this is a done deal, my friends. So just prepare yourself that in June, you may see something different. It all depends on the grow out pattern. Okay. But this is not, and I will not change my mind due to pressure from other people around. That is not me. I really, I'm not affected by what other people think of me or how other people think I should be living my very own life. I live my best life. I don't think my life, the way I live it or the choices I make are suited for everyone, but this is my process right now. This is my journey. And I will be the one to decide whether this is what I truly want or not. And I think the majority of people live their lives like that and allow other people to live their lives that way. All right, so uh, I, I touched on shampoo. I am trying some different blue shampoos. I think it's very important to have a lot of silk scrunchies. And I'll say I've tried quite a few silk scrunchies and my most favorite are from Silk and Pure. I love them because the band in them holds up. A lot of the silk, they're all nice and pretty and they're great for the hair, but, but the, the elastic inside a lot of them, they stretch out or they weaken and then they don't really hold the hair in my sassy, messy bun very well. Um, I have a lot of clips, banana clips for when I put tw a twist in the back and I just twist it up or I just want to pull it all back like this. I'll put a big clip right here. So it's just another look for me because I do like to wear my hair differently. I'm never, I've never been the type of person to part my hair in the same spot all the time. I like a variety. I like to wear French twist. I like to wear uh, buns. I like to wear side buns. I like to wear just messy buns. I like to wear coiffed buns. I like to wear a lot of different styles. And that's another reason I leave my hair long because I can create a lot of different styles. Um, let's see what else I have been very dedicated to using my, uh, pre shampoo oils, my scalp oils. I've been doing a lot of massaging of my head to really help to stimulate growth. I do a collagen supplement. I don't take any other vitamins for hair, but I'm sure to get my vitamin D, my K2, uh, my omegas, all of those things are internally very important to have success on anything outside of our bodies, our skin and our hair, our nails, all of them need to be taken care of from the inside out. There's nothing we can do on the outside if we're not taking care of the inside. So I am paying close attention to the stimulation, the pre-treatment oils, oiling my natural hair so it remains healthy because I am not going to ever cut my hair short unless I want to. My hair will remain long. It will always be at least to the bottom of my bra strap because I have worn it that way forever. And it's the best length for me because I can create a lot of different styles. In Florida, I've been wearing my hair much longer because the more weight my ha hair has, the less frizz I have. The more layers I have, the more frizz. But I think I am going to cut some layers when I go back in June, some long ones, because I do like to have a little more fullness and bounce through this area. And I think it will just help to really take some of the ends off. Now Lou's opinion, because a lot of people say, what does Lou think? And a lot of women have said, poor Lou, she's letting herself go. Lou is actually the one that encouraged me to do this. He is actually the one because I was hemming and hawing, hemming and hawing. He said, Tammy, do it. Just do it. He said, if you don't like it, if you grow it totally out and you don't like it, you can always color it. And he's right. Lou is the type of man, he pretty much supports anything that makes me happy. He is not going to knock me down in any way, shape or form because it's my life. And he knows that. And he also knows that if I'm happy with me, 
and how I exist in this world, that he's going to be a happier man. What do they say? If mama's happy, the whole family's happy. So uh, he really, I mean, I ask him almost every day, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And he says, I, I think it's coming along really well. I think it looks good. And the other night when I was really struggling with myself, I said, how do I look? And he said, you look great. He goes, Tammy, nobody's even going to notice. And he was probably right, but I ended up spraying it anyway. And then I just felt dirty all night because the sprays are really awful. So that is where I am at right now. This is my very first. This is the four-month check-in. Uh, it is a struggle. I'm not going to say that it's not. Uh, you really do have to be comfortable in your own skin, if you're somebody who worries about what the outside world thinks of you, this may not be the process for you, but if you are someone who really just is living your best life, then I say go for it. If you are someone so did say to me, it's only a hair color. This is true. It is only a hair color. But it is but one that you must like and be comfortable within your own skin wearing. And All one right. more thing before I leave. If you are going to set out on this journey, be prepared to change your makeup colors. I can no longer wear my orange reds. I have to go into the pinky reds, the plums. Uh, I still love my reds and I'm still gonna wear bright lip colors because I really think it's important, especially if you are going salt and pepper. Nude lips are not for us anymore. Unless you love them, then you stay with them. But I do feel that when you put a bold color on, it really enhances everything. And really play up your lashes and play up your blush. It will bring your face to life because the, you know when you go into white, especially white, you're gonna notice you kind of fade away until you really make that change. And my clothes, I cannot, I put some something that I've worn for years on and I'm like, ooh, I don't look good in this anymore. I really have had to go neutral and cooler tones with my clothing. So be prepared to spend some money on new clothing. But I say go to Target and buy these tanks for seven bucks. <laughs> All right, friends. So that is it for my first update on how I'm doing growing my hair out. All right. If you are someone that is growing your hair out or thinking about it, put everything down in the comment section. People are so, it, it's amazing how people have circled around me while doing this and are supporting me. It's what you want women to do with all women. It is fabulous. All right, friends. So if you haven't already subscribed on your way out, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it will notify you of all the videos that I'm putting up until the next time, my friends, you go out in the world and be oh so lovable. And, and while you are being oh so lovable, love your age. I love you all. Bisous.